to be one man's thought without bringing him a lot of stress uh, for them guts. It's because another man has had to pay. That's how it works. Dr. Dre's ex-wife, although she probably ain't going to screw most of us under the sound of my voice, she's still going to have some other dudes on the side. And she ain't going to stress them out. They hit them guts, and she's not going to stress them out. Why? Because she's collecting 300 grand a month from Dre. Now, if you don't believe me, <coughs> maybe you'll believe Selector J. Another YouTuber who left a comment underneath my upload why we will discuss women more than money. And he brought up a valid point. I mean, on one comment, he said, money is something simple. You invest it, use it for what you need, make more. You see the importance of money every day. Women are more complicated and take more time in explaining about their nature in devious ways. But in the comment I want to bring out to you, he said uh, this. The point you made about a woman being... Uh, S-L-U-T or thought without a man giving her anything or stressing a man only because some ex-husband or baby daddy who she does not want is funding her life is so true and I'm currently going through that with this chick I'm currently smashing who got an ex-husband still paying her rent and did. I'm quoting him now. He goes on to say, I'm just glad she doesn't ask me for that and could spend on me at times and I don't want to be in the position of her ex-husband Paying for a place where some other guy comes through and smashes, and he ain't smashed in years. Now, I would say to him that he deserves better than this. I mean, he's still being used. It's just he's being used in a far less insulting way, but he's being used. And I don't tell anyone to fornicate because none of the books uh, sanction it but that must mean that God didn't sanction it but you can marry in front of your religious authority and leave the state out of it and then therefore uh, you are held by God to be accountable to what you were promised but the state can't come in with this one sidedness and let her run amok on your dime and make you pay for her to be a slut like what they did to her ex-husband However, the point I'm making is that somebody's backing me up on this. If one man is forced to pay and get nothing, she will turn around and use that man's resources to give for free to another man. This war, gentlemen, this is war. And understand this too. This lady on the Fresh and Fit podcast grew up Muslim said that when she graduated high school she wanted to be a thought she did not you got to understand the motive she didn't want to be a thought so she could be a source of free pleasure in a nation of young men who can't afford to marry and had no other outlet she wanted to be exactly what her dad because remember she grew up Muslim although he was in the military I don't know I don't understand how that worked but she wanted to be exactly what her father maybe some brothers did not want her to be she didn't really want to be a source of pleasure for a lot of men. She wanted to be a source of displeasure to some man in a life that was important early on. So she went out and did it. And understand this. I don't know how many Saudi women would encourage such a thing. I really don't know. I don't know them like that. What I do understand is that we do have a uh, Rahaf al Kanun who um, snuck away from her family in a Kuwaiti airport and is now living in Canada seeking asylum as, uh, as an apostate. Uh, she, she's a thought. Definitely. And, I mean, we know because she got a baby out of wedlock. She fled the she fled her her life wherein she was cared for for this purpose. I know um, that there is a colleague 
he used to work here with us and he had recently um been moved out here to us because in saudi he apparently took a saudi girl to a compound and she lost her virginity there to him and if the family had found out they would have gone gunning for him and the company so his boss knew what he did and came to him and said you about to get us in a world of trouble this is what we gonna do to make to, to avoid all this trouble you go looking for a job in another country nearby if one of them gets interested in you I'll write you a letter of recommendation but you I want you out of here in a week I'll get the company to give you a final exit visa you close out all your affairs while you're working for this uh <laughs> while you're looking for another job I'll help you get it and then you fit the guck out of Saudi so he wound up with us over here and um, I mean that's how he told the story I don't know how many I don't know what percentage of the population native to that country that are thoughts and I don't know it must be a small number that are actually pulling it off and in any case I don't really care what I want you to understand is that wherever this woman got it from, she wound up leaving Islam altogether and became a witch. And now she's sitting on the Fresh and Fit podcast telling you that she needs four or five men. At least she's telling you this. Well, ladies Salam. Looking in the face and saying this with no disguise on, I want you to understand that this is an example of what I mean when I say it's war. It is not for the benefit of the pleasure of many of you without the stress. It is actually, in many ways, a demand that you accept exactly what you do not want, the opposite of what you would want. And you accept the disrespect and then you turn around and you pay. And she even said that the bait is the one that does the nice things for and the alpha doesn't. That means she does not understand the difference between uh, a lack of manhood and kindness. She can't see the difference. They're the same to her. So she has a, a very animalistic way of thinking in this regard. So you got to be on the, on, on the lookout, but understand that, that she's just the one that's coming out and saying this. There are plenty out there that are thinking the same way. It's just that she's not the only one but she's one of very few that are coming out and saying this mark my words gentlemen more are going to come out and say the exact same thing later be prepared because what she said was an example of what I meant when I told you they are at war with you there's a hatred she's not demanding what she's demanding just because she thinks there's something in it for her no she's not even finding that because as one of them said you know the alphas don't tolerate that arrangement and she said that's why she by herself no she's demanding that because you don't like it that's all that is anyway I think you get the idea you understand thanks for listening more to come next time blackout